Uh, because of the Pikmin. Yeah. But at the same time, you know, once he does get in, I feel like Bowser Jr. is destroying, especially with up air, is going to keep Olimar in disadvantage. And, you know, Olimar does have the down B to kind of, like, help him land. But if Ketchup can read one of those, that could be a re-grab situation. And getting grabbed by Bowser Jr., especially when you're going up against a high-class caliber player like Ketchup, it's almost like getting grabbed by Mario at that point. You're going to get up thrown in and up air juggled, and you're going to eat 60 off of that. Absolutely. I'm super excited to see what's going to happen here. Um, uh, these matches are so, so packed, yeah. even this early on in pools. This is to make it out of pools, I believe. Yeah. Like, we're still in wave one okay, cool. for some of these matches. Uh, immediately starting with the Pikmin uh, side beat throws to get some extra percent on Ketchup. Ketchup struggling to find what option uh, he can have to, to get rid of that Pikmin and taking 39% from it uh, immediately. And that's the other thing is that sometimes you just forget about the Pikmin and you know what, it's little damage, but little damage that racks up a lot over time too. And uh, what you said there earlier, he used that down B to, get, uh, to land against uh, Ketchup. Oh, but that was such a good use of the upbeat to kind of extend his aggression right there and get the juggle to kill. Yeah, that purple Pikmin is definitely going to kill uh, all the way up there in the blast zone. Uh, Ketchup going for his Trident 2 dash back forward smash, maybe catch an aggressive option, but this is looking rough. Yeah, uh, you can tell that we don't have any good Olimar players here in SoCal. I mean, there used to be uh, I'm Hip, but I'm Hip hasn't competed in a long time. Yeah, it's going to be a difficult matchup to uh, come into, and we have other players like Myron uh, that play here tonight. Uh, catch up, keeping him in the corner, going for those back airs. He's just trying to ledge trap MFA, but MFA is able to uh, mix up the way he's landing back on the stage very well with those uppies, and now you see uh, MFA has the stage control. Uh, here we go, you know, and we see Olimar just kind of using his Pikmin almost like a mini sword. You know, very well with spacing. Oh, you know, not gonna mean anything, but you know what? If he can catch you off guard, catch you slipping for one moment, Ketchup will find the conversion off of it. Beautiful pickup from Ketchup, getting the um, exploding hitbox into a backer to, to take the kill. But uh, Ketchup has a mountain to climb here, especially with the uh, Pikmin having kill throws. You know, it's only the blue one that you have to really worry about, but you know what? As long as the purple's on deck, he always has access to kill power. Yeah, MFA uh, definitely commits to that option. When he knows what he needs, he's going to go for it. Um, with that Pikmin uh, swing, he's going to be able to take the stock. Oh, this is going to be a lot of damage, especially since the platform kind of extended the amount of juggles that the job did. Ooh, going for an upper to try to catch, catch up landing with a no Koopa card. Mm, I don't like those uh, upbeats. He's going side to up the be very punished by MFA, but Jab sending MFA off stage. Yo, can he catch a landing? Not quite in time, and unfortunately doesn't get the spacing on the board smash to catch a landing. Oh, another up air from uh, MFA keeping him in the air. Oh, and you know he wanted to bait it out, but I think the extended hitbox from hitting the Pikmin oh. messed up his timing just ever so slightly. Does catch the landing finally right there, but, you know, 94%, it's definitely doable. We've seen catch up come back from worse. Yeah, he just needs one of those big openings to get, uh, get big percent into a sock, but... Uh, it's going to be difficult if MF MFA continues to play this defensively. Uh, utilizing all the staging con uh, control he has to just uh, hold the stage, throw the Pikmin, get some percent. Uh, no need to push the envelope when you're the one with the lead. Right. You know, especially if you're Olimari, eventually you will get the purple and the blue. And that's all you really need in order to you know, close out stocks. Insane win condition. Forward smash, as you said there, not having much lag. But that down B into the forward smash, the yellow not killing, but trading with an up air into the Koopa part. Oh, the Koopa card, he committed to it. Oh my god, and he catches the landing on the down B as well. You know what, this is kill percent for both players. This is so scary. Catch up with all the rage here. Just needs to find a strong move. The skirt on the side B, not going to be able to take it. Goes for the, the uh, toss and cover the normal get up, not uh, hitting the timing. Oh my god, this purple Pikmin is taking so much damage. Oh, this is so scary. He didn't have the Pikmin in hand oh. yet. Up there from, uh, from catch up. Oh, oh there we go! That was such a good read! Oh, he caught it! Oh he caught the God. landing! He knew that MFA wasn't going to use the down B. Just casually drift back, maybe try to cross up a catch up with a pivot up smash to take it. Yeah. I, I couldn't see that coming. He is yeah. so fast at whip punishing. We saw him whip punish Fox and Air with up smash. He's definitely yeah. going to be able to do it on a slow landing. Oh, yeah, and especially because he, he was so threatening with the red and the purple in hand. And you no, know, red's probably at base the second most damaging after purple. So. Any straight hit at 170% probably would have killed uh, Ketchup as well. But Ketchup going for the up smash. He's taking a 1-0 lead here. Now I love how composed that Ketchup was able to be in that entire stock. Exactly. He didn't even look like he was going for an up smash there. Right. 
again. Struggling to get the Pikmin off of him. It's going to be right. very crucial for Ketchup to figure that out in the map because he's taking so much percent from it. But as we're seeing here, Ketchup's finding these openings and he's putting Olimar in the corner. It's going to be upon a MFA to close the distance uh, coming back from the ledge. But uh, using these Pikmin to rack on percent is going to be so dangerous for Ketchup. Right. And here we go. Oh, baiting out an option, but not going to commit to it. And you know what? He flies away to safety. He doesn't get punished for it. And I like that. You no, know, Ketchup doesn't force an option if he doesn't have to. Oh, that was a really good aggressive option from MFA right oh. there to avoid the cannonball. Here Going go. for the uh, up B there to get the hitbox, maybe hit a two frame on MFA, but uh, catch up taking so much percent from these Pikmin. All right, here we go. I mean, 122% and climbing super fast with the white Pikmin. Back there, not able to take it even at 151 after the hit, but what a reversal. Right. He went for the downer, got hit with the hitbox. The oh. swing, he missed the swing. Up but he smash. gets the smash. Not going to oh. be enough to take it. Yeah. I mean, Almar's light, but he's not that light, but oh. oh my god, he plucked out a Pikmin just to get that S-Smash, and you know what, it, I feel like it didn't matter which Pikmin it was, but it, the purple just doubly made sure that it was death. Wow, he had enough time to uh, cover the cross of dash attack with a Pikmin pull into a forward smash. Yeah. But we see, we see Ketchup with the comeback factor, he can definitely bring this back, but he needs to be wary about how these Pikmin latch onto him for the percent for uh, MFA. Oh, I like that. I'm trying to throw out a long-lasting hitbox on normal getup, but unfortunately, MFA slides right through, but does not avoid that back air. And, you know, a catch-up only at 12%, still keeping it very healthy for this second stock. Ketchup's looking very good here, utilizing the stage he has to uh, kind of change where he's bursting in, either with throwing a Kuka or uh, using that side B. But MFA seeing through the pressure here, not taking too much percent, holding his shield, keeping himself safe. Right. There go. There's the back air. And MFA trying to go aggressive, but gets hit by the down air. Great net from uh, Ketchup, not sending into a tech chase on this on the stage there, but still good percent. Um, it's going to be so difficult. He keeps getting hit with these Pikmin uh, that are latching on him, doing so much percent. Right, two purples on deck. Oh. oh, that was a really bold up smash read right there from MFA. Getting punished with that side beam to the uh, up B hitbox with the swing. And um, two purple Pikmin, this is so scary. Uh, any one of these can, can just kill you, so. But they do have a little bit less range, so you know what? And Ketchup can just kind of just zoom around it. He wouldn't have to worry about too many purple Pikmin, but gets the turnaround spin out of the side B right there. Downer going there through go. the platform there, sending Ketchup off uh, into the corner. MFA needs to make his money here if he wants to close out the stop. Oh, doesn't avoid the cannonball that time. Avoids the fair. Oh, he missed the back air. Oh, he tried getting the up smash one more time to close out the stock, but MFA air dodging this time to avoid it. Yeah, yep. we can just see MFA just being comfortable holding center stage and, you know, catch up, kind of throwing out his projectiles and picking and choosing his moments to go with the clown cart. And you know what? It's a very, very strong war of attrition between both players right here. Yeah, they're holding onto their stock for so long, but oh, he went for the uh, forwarder to cover the explosive, uh, the Koopa explosive in his hand. Right. Oh wow, he manages to just barely get the spin out on the platform right there too. Not being enough to kill, but going for that rapid jab. Rapid jab will kill here. Oh, and that pivot grab. Oh my God, I think that was a blue up front too. So that probably would have definitely killed. Yeah, if you can find this grab with the blue Pikmin he has on deck. Uh, it's gonna be, it's just gonna be the sock, but that back air is gonna be able to take it. And Ketchup um, just needs to find one strong hit to kill MFA here, but MFA playing very patient in the corner. Dash back, Pikmin throw, jab lock, down smash. What, look at the percent there. I mean, it could have been a lot worse, but the fact that it was a purple Pikmin on deck meant that that was the most he could do at that point in time. Uh, forward air covering MFA's jump back option. He needs to find the sock here, whether that be in a jab or an up smash read. Landing hitbox of order, sending MFA back in the corner. MFA using his stage so well here to, to uh, keep the distance. Four throw going to be able to take it. Right. I feel like he was DIing for a different kind of throw, maybe like up throw or back throw. But you know what? 100% definitely doable for catch up, wow, especially if he gets a strong up. combo opening. That was an insane open up into the down tilt, not getting anything off of it, but right. using the Koopaling to cover some more stage. Oh, but no. Yeah, he. He went for that very um, ambitious downer to try to cover um, maybe a defensive option or just get the landing hitbox out there, but he got punished very hard for it, and MFA is going to bring it to a, a, a third game here. All right. And imagine if he did get that down air without the trade. He probably would have been able to extend it out to another like up air string or maybe even a back air. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. 
uh, how close the set is between the two players. Uh, even when one has a lead, um, Ketchup is able to bring it back. All right, game three. This is to make it out of pools. Wow. So heavily contested. Uh, MFA just utilizing his uh, disjoints with the Pikmin to keep Ketchup at bay, uh, understanding where he wants to be horizontally in order to get a, a burst in. I like that uh, spin out, trying to find something, maybe uh, MFA trying to go back into the corner, but uh, now you see Ketchup, you know, he's taking percent from uh, these trades, but Olimar is pretty light and pretty gimpable if you're able to uh, find a strong hit. Oh, he tried finding the jab, unfortunately not going to reach there in time. Gets hit with the back air with, by the purple Pikmin. Down air attempt, not going to connect. Goes for the swing cross up, but uh, MFA able to read right through that. Throwing the blue Pikmin away, he has no kill throw on hand, but purple will definitely take it. And I like Ooh. that. Ketchup saw the yes answer and was like, I'm not going to challenge that. Yeah, and MFA almost finding the read with that back air. Yellow's not going to be able to take that at 148 after the hit, but Ketchup with a low recovery. This is so scary. Parry, no punish. There we go. Oh, grabbed the wrong way, but no punish on that either. Gets hit by the Mecha Koopa. Throwing it right back. The cannonball going through all of that. Oh my back God. air, not going to be able to take it, but Ketchup now has MFA in the corner. He can find the stock here. There we go. And both players are just barely trying to avoid each other's kill options right here. Ooh, forward smash, good uh, dash and shield from Ketchup, oh. not finding the tech chase. Yeah. Down oh, no. smash, not connecting, he needed to turn it around. MHA, he just, if he gets hit by one thing, it's going to be ter uh, terrible. Oh, yeah. Oh my god, he avoids that clown card too, and you know, just all this damage is doing numbers on MFA's shield right here as well. Down air. Oh, I like that. He knew that it wasn't going to convert into an up air, so get a grab instead. Fourth throw, not going to be able to take it, but the Mecha Koopa throw, and now Ketchup takes the stock. 204% on Ketchup, but he can definitely push this lead if he gets an open up. I mean, MFA that's the one nice low. thing about Bowser Jr. is that he is heavy, he can lift his super high percent, and MFA is really struggling to find this kill because the Ketchup's just plainly being too defensive. Yeah, this yellow Pikmin's not going to kill. It has range, but it won't kill. Mecha Koopa canceling out the red Pikmin there. I love how Ketchup's mi mixing up his recoveries. Back here going to be able to take it. MFA only taking 10%, but Ketchup, you know, we saw him take the lead there with that um, with that ledge trap. He needs to find those ledge traps if he wants to win the stop, or win the game, I'm sorry. Oh, gets the hit with the Mecha Koopa. Doesn't confirm into it, but gets a Nair on the landing. Good up air to shock the platform there into a back air. Ketchup has the percent lead here. He just needs to hold on to it. And I love the use of the cannonball because it can go through the Pikmin and it might just catch MFA off guard because it has a landing hitbox as well. Exactly. So MFA has to respect it. Yeah, utilizing the cannonball and the Mecha Koopa to create some horizontal distance between the uh, two players and catch up has a percent lead, holding onto it dearly, trying to find some sort of open up with the Mecha Koopa. Here we go, catch up. Finding his way, armor through the Pikmin, but you know, it doesn't get a follow up after it even though he you know, took the damage. Yeah, he was able to use that uh, cart armor to get through that. And now he's in the le another ledge trap situation, creating horizontal distance, going for the up smash on the platform. Not going to be able to hit. Oh, I love that B reverse down B right there to catch MFA off guard. Not going to be enough to take it. Good air dodge from oh. MHA. He has no resources, killing both Pikmin on the way back. But look at all that percent. And no, oh. the up smash beats out the landing fair. Yeah, I mean, Ketchup can definitely close this out with a, with a jab or another strong kill move, but MHA, he just needs to hold on to this lead here. Back oh, here is going to be able to take it. Ketchup, right. Ketchup, MFA on the last stock of their winner side experience uh, in pools. All right, here we go. A smash catches the landing. Down air. Canceling on the platform, shielding the fire Pikmin. Both of them scrambling here. And right. uh, Ketchup is going for these downers to cover the landings here. Here we go. Both players just chucking out as many projectiles to get their nickels and dimes in for I when like their that. kill options well, hopefully will connect. Both of them utilizing their projectile to cover the horizontal space. Both of them having to utilize the platforms to avoid both of them. Look at all that blue uh, damage. Now that was the blue and the white Pikmin. And the white Pikmin being the most deadly when it's stuck on you. Landing there into Clark. Good shield from MFA. But oh! oh! He's yo! Yeah! Oh, let's go! Let's catch, go catch up! up! Oh that my god! So that was he's he is so good. That guy is so good at finding those conversions. Oh my god. I'm, I'm sorry for the volume there, but he just made it out of pools. Yeah. Winner side. At Ketchup, the gatekeeper, the guardian of SoCal, eliminated.